Hey, this is Mr. Goldschmidt, and I'm sorry I'm not here today. I'm over at the middle school testing sixth graders uh, who are interested in learning a band instrument. It's a lot of fun for me, but sadly, I'm not here with you all. Uh, today, we're going to talk about chord progressions on the launch pad, how to create chords and drag them over to the launch pads and be able to play a chord progression. As you guys know, a chord progression is a series of chords that when you play them over and over, you you write a song over it. Uh, we've watched these guys, Axis of Awesome, they created that four chord song and with a bunch of different melodies that you've heard throughout pop music. Uh, and today we're going to learn to to write our own series of chord progressions, throw them in the launch pad so we can start making music quickly. The first thing we need to do is we're going to visit autochords.com, but you can't go on inter you can't go on Google Chrome. We've got to jump over to our Internet Explorer. So we're going to go to Internet Explorer and type in autochords. Now the reason whoop, autochords where is it? It's autochords. Oh, I'll just type in autochords.com and hit enter. Now it's going to try to block you because their uh, their security certificates are oh let's just say they're they're not up to date but that's fine we're going to go to details and go to web page once you're on this web page autochords.com it's safe there's no passwords or anything crazy that you're going to have to worry about um, but we're going to be able to decide what type of chord progression we want to write and then it'll tell us what notes are in that progression so the first thing for the key and feel we're going to hit Oh, do we want a cliche? Do we want alternative rock? I'm going to go up to alternative. I want an alternative progression. And it's got alternative, and I'm going to want piano here. Then we can say, okay, what key do we want? Let's just stick with the key of C and C major, and it'll give us that chord progression. You can hit play, and it'll play the four chords that are there. And so we're going to take these four chords and convert them and put them over into, into Mixcraft. The first chord we need is an A minor chord. And if you hover over it, it'll tell you the notes are A, C, and E. The second chord is the F chord, which has F, A, and C. Then we have a C chord with C, E, G. And finally, the G chord is G, B, D. So the first chord we're going to write in to Mixcraft is the A minor chord, which is made up of A, C, and D. Let's go ahead and jump into Mixcraft. And I have a, a uh, virtual instrument track pulled up with piano. You can hit the button at the beginning here to change your instrument. I just chose the VSTI instruments piano. And you can hit edit, change these around, pick some different types of pianos. But I'm just going to leave it there with that. For, and then next, I'm going to double click and create a region to write my A major chord. Uh, there's two ways to do this, but the easiest way is we're going to go to add slash edit and we're going to select which notes we want. Now the notes in the A minor chord are A, C, and E. So I'm going to go back over and knowing my notes on the piano, here's your middle, here's your, where's our middle C? Our middle C that we want is C4 right here. I'm going to click A above that. Then I'm going to have a C and an E. And you can you can mix and match and do for different ones. We could take off that A by right clicking and add the A down here. Um, doesn't matter whichever one that you want, depending on inversions, but that's fine. So I'm going to hit OK, and it's going to add my three notes. I'm going to click each one of those. And I'm going to I'm going to leave that at allowing it to last one full measure. And I've got my A minor. I'll drag that over here. Then I'm going to create another region go back over. My next chord is my F chord, which is made of F, A, C. I'll jump back into Mixcraft. I need to add or edit. I can right click on these to make those go away. So then I need F, A, C. Hit those. Add them in. I can hit play to make sure they're there and drag them in. My next chord is a C major chord made of C, E, G. Go back into Mixcraft, double click create a region. And it's got all the ones that all the different notes that I had before. I have a C in here already an E. I'm going to go ahead and add a G, which is the only other note I need there. C, E, G, which you put it all the way up here. You can reorganize those, drag that in. And then the last chord I need is a G major chord, 
made up of G, B, and D. And so I can choose whichever G, B, and D that I want. I need to add a region. I can get rid of all these other notes by right clicking on them and they'll go away. So I need a G, B, and D. Hit OK. G, B, D. Drag them over here. Now I've got my four chords of more, my chord progression. If I were to click play on these right now on my launch pad, it's just going to keep playing them over and over. So I need to set my trigger mode. I'm going to highlight over those, right click, trigger mode, make these a one shot so that they don't, they don't play over and over again and keep looping on me. So then I'll be able to go back. And I can play my launch pad which whatever rhythms I want. In whatever fashion I need to. Then all I need to do is go back to the beginning, arm my control pan, my performance panel, and start recording. And I'll stop there. Now that I've got those notes picked out and my chord progression recorded, I can highlight over the top of here and whoop, right click. I'm going to merge these all into one track. So now they're all one beautiful track that I can highlight over the top of these and quantize what I've recorded in. So I'll quantize these to MIDI editing, quantize. I'm going to quantize into eighth notes and go back to the beginning. I've got them where I want them and I am good to go with my, with my MIDI editing. Now 